안녕하십니까 유엔 미래 포럼의 박영수입니다. 오늘은 자슈와 어, 존슨 미국에서 오신 분을 모시고 우리 어, 저 구윤철 장관님께서 이 어, 여러 가지 <웃음> 두 분이 토론하고 저는 어, 옆에서 좀 노트 어, 적어 놓고 뭐 이런 식으로 좀 하려고 합니다. 우선 UN IAEA 라는 기구를 지금 만들기 위해서 이렇게 뭉쳤습니다. 오늘의 어, 중요한 이슈는 날짜입니다. 오늘 9월 7일이고요. 9월 7일 시, 어, 2024년 9월 7일. Hello, how are you, Joshua? Hi. Welcome to Korea. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for having how me. How do you like Korea? I love it. It's really? actually very good. Yeah, I lived in China for some time, yeah. and I've lived uh, kind of all over the world, and yeah. I have enjoyed it very much. I think this is my third time now. Awesome. So, yeah, I really enjoy the people. Really enjoy. Very technology driven. Yeah. I really enjoy oh, okay. it. Okay, yeah. welcome to Korea. Thank you so much. And uh, I heard that uh, you are the expert. Uh, the <laughs> what are the best expert uh, uh, in AI? Oh yeah, man, yeah. I'm learning every day. How many years uh, did you oh, yes. uh, study? I studied uh, 10 years ago. Oh, I started my years, uh, uh, thesis on augmenting human purpose into AI and oh. AI ethics. Oh, okay. So I think AI ethics are very important. Oh, yeah. Even uh, you studied more than 10 years yeah, ago? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, so I think that uh, AI is very important for human yes. beings, yes. but uh, we have to keep in mind that uh, bad AI, yes, bad AI will dominate uh, mm. in the future yes. because uh, every human they have interested in the, their own interests. Yes. Yes, so bad they, actors. Yes. Yeah, bad actors. Yes, yeah. and you have a bad actor very close to you, right? Yeah, North yeah, Korea. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you have to be very careful, even right now. Yeah, yeah. yes. Even, yeah. Yeah, North Korea and Russia. Russia, yes. And even China. Yeah. Uh, if they have interest in the bad, bad uh, yes. actors, in yes. that case, uh, uh, they can use the, the bad AIs. So, yes. yeah, yeah. Uh, in that point, uh, the SX. AI ethics is very important. Can you explain yes. the importance of the AI ethics? Because you studied yeah, uh, yes, of 10 years ago yeah, yeah, yeah. about uh, the bad, uh, AI ethics. Yes, okay. I think having a, a baseline of knowing for humanity what we accept and don't accept. Mm -hmm. uh, having an understanding for AI and humanity across governments and understanding what is bad and what is good. Mm, yeah. So having a baseline and standards mm. in the same way we know what is right and wrong mm. for a, a child going mm. in school, in elementary school. Yeah. There's ethics of being able to conduct yourself mm. in school, whether you maybe uh, a bully hits you and mm. then that's wrong and you're sent to the, uh, to the, uh, to the, to the time out, right? Mm. So there needs to be a time out for AI quote unquote, to have ethics of right and wrong. Mm. So there needs to be a structure of understanding and a baseline for humanity mm. and whether government or business or individual, mm. being able to have a system in place that is understanding of what is morally um, okay, mm. you know? And that's what I think morally, uh, being able to say AI ethics in general, mm. having that baseline of something that we agreed to. And that's what has yet to be created. So no one's created it. And so that's what, who knows who's going to mm -hmm. create it. But that's where we have to discuss and have different governing bodies to actually make it important. Okay. Yeah. Uh, AI 윤리 논문을 10년 전에 쓴저 자슈아 존슨 씨하고 지금 우리가 나쁜 AI를 못 만들게 하는 이런 목적으로 AI 윤리에 대해서 이야기를 하고 있어요. 어떤 AI가 나쁘고 좋은가 이런 거 판단하는 윤리 그런데 그게 아직까지 베이스라인이 없는 겁니다. 그래서 우리가 어, 장관님하고 베이스라인 만드는 이런 이야기도 하고 있습니다. Okay, uh, and how do you expect uh, the future of AI? Oh, positive or negative? Wow. Well, I think I always say anything good taken to the extreme can mm. be bad. Yeah. So how do you find the balance in that? So I think there needs to be a governing body in the future that somehow helps us. And I don't know what that looks like, mm. but there needs to be some type of infrastructure, a baseline agreed upon that is able to understand what is good and what is bad. And then understanding that extreme, mm. right? And finding the balance. Mm. And so we don't know, actually. Mm. There's a lot of speculation. I can 
propose something, right? Mm. But again, we don't know. So that's where we have to have a lot of smart minds come together and agree on it together. And I think that that's really important to at least have this discussion on what is extreme mm. and what is the balance of that. Mm. And I think that that's the first step. Yeah, but uh, the, my expectation is that uh, usually every person uh, expect uh, the AI as a very good or positive. Yes. So uh, today uh, I wanna uh, suggest uh, the AI ethics. Uh, yes. Because uh, I am worried uh, yes. about uh, for bad AI. Oh, so 100%. Bad AI. So, yes. So, uh, so I I don't wanna uh, the born. Right. The better AI is so. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. So, how can we control? Yes. Well, you just have to create that baseline, and if the parameters go outside of mm -hmm. here, this is the extreme here, mm -hmm. extreme here. Mm -hmm. So keeping that balance. Mm -hmm. So if, for example, North Korea goes outside of the mm -hmm. parameter, mm -hmm. then there's checks and balances set up between governments mm -hmm. and the system mm -hmm. to be able to have a guideline mm -hmm. of how to interact mm -hmm. and guide the system mm -hmm. of what a bad actor is. We mm -hmm. have to define the systems for what a bad actor is. Mm -hmm. In the same way you have standards, right? Mm -hmm. If you drive a car, there's standards for driving on the road. Yeah. There's standards for flying a plane, mm -hmm. right? So you flying a plane, you have to fly, and for anyone to get in the plane, you mm -hmm. have to have a standard, right? Mm -hmm. So right now there's no global standards for yeah, AI no and, standards. and yeah. AI ethics. Mm -hmm. So we haven't even defined a good actor and a bad actor. Yeah. So that's the first step is mm -hmm. governing globally, agreeing mm -hmm. upon. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the same way the airline industry agrees upon, mm -hmm. if you're gonna fly a plane, yeah. this is the standard. Mm -hmm. We have to agree between the people, businesses, mm -hmm. and government mm -hmm. to understand a standard of what a good actor is and a bad actor. Yeah, so I agree. Yeah. Uh, to make uh, the guidelines yes. for every human being. Yes. So, the, if one human being, they do, they are, they are willing to, willing to make uh, the better AIs. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in that case, uh, the, we have to prevent uh, mm -hmm. better AIs uh, be, be born. Right. And uh, that's why we, you said that we have to make uh, the, some uh, yeah. formal yeah. guidelines for right. human yeah. beings. A hundred percent, yes. hundred percent. hundred percent. And that, we still don't know what that looks like, mm -hmm. but being able to at least have this conversation mm -hmm. to start. Yeah. So we can't say we know it all because yeah. no one knows. No yeah. one is an, a, truly an expert because this is the beginning mm -hmm. of the Wild West, right? Yeah. So then we just need as many smart minds to come around mm -hmm. and to say, okay, this is what we do know. Mm -hmm. This is where we are going mm -hmm. and there's so much that can happen, but how do we at least define a good actor and a bad actor mm -hmm. and have a baseline mm -hmm. To understand where we're going forward mm -hmm. with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, any other country or the UN is mm -hmm. started to discuss about uh, the guidelines yeah. for bad actors or good actors. Uh, do you have any uh, information about that? Yeah, yeah, this? yeah. I think that that's yet to be decided. Mm -hmm. I, the UN, no one has defined mm -hmm. what a bad actor is mm -hmm. and a good actor. Mm -hmm. So, that would be a great idea. I mean, mm -hmm. that. Uh, Someone needs to do that, right? Yeah. So that is kind of, I think, the next steps mm. of being able to see mm. that framework, that baseline of what a good actor is and a bad actor, mm. and agree upon that for governments, for businesses, for individuals, mm. yeah. so everyone is on the same page. Mm. And I think that that's the next step for humanity. Yeah. So we have a, a framework that we, so we have to go, we need, you start with the end in mind, mm. right? So we need someone where reverse engineering and mm. saying, hey, in the next 10 years, 20 years, 30 years mm. of humanity, this is where we're all going yeah, together, yeah. right? Mm. Right now, everyone is very fragmented mm. and going all over the place. Yeah. So if together we have an agreement mm. of a baseline, mm. that I think that that's the next step. Anyway, 네, 여기서 baseline을 mm. 우리가 좀 정의하면 mm. 어떨까 이런 생각을 합니다. 이 AI에서 양쪽 그게 있어요. 뭐. 아무튼 극과 극을 좀 잘라내고 그죠 양쪽 것 잘라내고 우선 표준 표준화 하는 거 AI의 가이드라인을 우선 정하자 AI 사용 표준화와 가이드라인을 정하자라는 아이디어에 저희가 지금 동의를 하고 있습니다 UN하고 같이 하는 방법을 한번 고려해 보고 있습니다. Yeah, but uh, I expect you make a big 
distributions uh, yeah. Yeah, to make uh, the, the guidelines for AIs. So. Yes. And then the second one is that uh, uh, if uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, the AIs uh, will be born, mm -hmm. in that case, uh, we don't have uh, any, any information about uh, the number of AIs. Uh, right. In yeah. that case, uh, how can you control the AIs? Well, that's what's going to be so difficult, is yeah. how, how they're registered, for yeah. example, having a mass database in a system yeah. where there's a global acceptance from the governments, from individuals, from businesses, to accept that baseline mm -hmm. and to, in a quote-unquote quote, 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 register mm -hmm. of, because the bad actors, mm -hmm. you know, if North Korea, they may not mm -hmm. want to register yeah. because they're a bad actor, yeah. but that, that new system of, you know, I think decentrali uh, decentralizing it and having it um, is very important to be mm -hmm. decentralized using blockchain mm -hmm. and using that as a system to be able to create, you know, a, a, a global registry yeah. to be able to understand mm -hmm. and that definition of a good actor and a bad actor yeah. and it'll evolve mm -hmm. it'll constantly as there as quantum comes online and there's in the next five to ten years there's more and more technology that is updating it mm -hmm. we'll constantly have to update what a good actor is and a bad yeah, actor yeah. and it's not so clear cut Mm -hmm. Everything is going to have to be decided on together. Mm -hmm. There's going to have to be uh, committees. There's going to have to be, I mean, this is changing humanity, right? Mm -hmm. So it's very important that we have as many smart people come together, mm -hmm. um, like you said, the UN, others, mm -hmm. that how, how do we lead this conversation mm -hmm. about this in this framework and technology? So. Yeah, yeah. So I agree with your ideas that uh, because... Uh, uh, if we do not enroll any AI, so in that case, uh, we cannot control or uh, we, we even we don't know the number of AIs. Right. So exactly. uh, we have to enroll the AIs and we have to give uh, legal ideas mm -hmm. for the AI, yeah. like, like as uh, human beings. Uh, yeah. Usually human beings, uh, they have a passport mm -hmm. and then we can yes. identify right. who is who. Right. And then, uh, the AI will have a right. legal ID. In that yes. case, we can identify. Right. It. Yes. I think that's why it's so important for blockchain and to have, mm -hmm. you know, the watermark, mm -hmm. the, the watermark, and, yeah. to have that, in a sense, like the trademark mm -hmm. system where the IP mm -hmm. is understood. Mm -hmm. So you can basically weigh it based on, based on the weights and the fine tuning of the models. And you, there's so many uh, AIs beyond just LLMs. Yeah. How do you define what is yeah, good and what is right, bad? Right. And that's what is yet to be decided. And that's what we have to, with committees and, and understanding of, of the world. What does that look like? And, mm. and as much as we don't want to constrain the development of AI, mm. how do you put a framework in that helps basically everyone find that balance? Yeah. So. And uh, in the future, the AI will produce uh, a lot of uh, new products. Yes, so we course. have to give uh, the AI a copyright. Uh, yes. What was your ideas for the copyright for AI? Yeah, and that's a part of the, the watermark yeah. and the, the trademark for each IP related to the AI creation. Yeah. That's going to be just like a barcode. Mm. You're going to be able to ingest that and it'll be trackable. And I think that's going to be very important to connect to the governments, the individuals, and the businesses mm. to make that where the, the good actors and the bad actors, that you find the balance in that. Mm. So uh, if you do want to register like a barcode, you can have a tax. Mm. Like there's, there's different things that you're able to do within that that we have yet even seen or like see what's possible. So mm. we don't know what that technically it's going to look like mm -hmm. um, but there's a lot of interesting ideas with mm -hmm. that good and I guess we'll propose that in the in the future you know mm -hmm. we can't discuss that here but I think that that's very much needed mm -hmm. to happen mm -hmm. very soon I don't know who's going to create it but mm -hmm. I think that that's very very important yeah, very important. yeah. 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 AI를 우선은 저희가 라이센스를 주거나 또는 등록을 하도록 해서 글로벌 레지스트리, 글로벌 등록처 뭐 이런 걸 만들면 나쁜 AI, 좋은 AI를 그저 갈라낼 수 있고 나쁜 AI를 막을 수가 있고 이게 지금 뭐 양자 컴퓨터도 나오고 너무 신기술들이 빨리빨리 나오기 때문에 매번 업데이트 저희가 해야 되고 
그래서 그런 걸 위해서 블록체인이나 워터마크 시스템이나 IP 바코드 뭐 이런 걸 가지고 한번 정리를 해보면 어떨까 이런 아이디어를 내고 계십니다. Yeah, and uh, the another issue is that uh, if we give uh, the AI for copyright, in that case, uh, the AI can get a money. Yes. Yeah. Yes. In that case, uh, the, what about the, how can you uh, limit the AI's... Uh, yes. Uh, so blockchain, I think that's why it's yeah. key for blockchain and decentralization, mm. because you don't need a middleman or a bank to be in the middle of that transaction. Mm. So the AI to AI mm. could actually transact. Yeah. So. A Singapore AI mm. and what represents their government mm. could then transact to, to Singapore, uh, like uh, in the United States, mm. uh, basically AI, mm. and then that between the two governments, mm. you would be able to transact without anyone in the middle. Mm. So yeah. being able what's best for the government, and so that discussion of like tourism, mm. how do we cooperate in tourism, and what's yeah. best for each other. So this is now as an AI agent acting on behalf of the government, mm. then that between the two they're discussing, mm. but. There needs to be some framework and guidelines mm. of a structure, and if there is money involved, yeah. that needs to happen between those two. There doesn't need to be anyone in the middle. So yeah. with blockchain technology, you can have a settlement, mm. and that is either CBDC, central okay. bank digital currency, mm. or a token that's internal mm. between those yeah, two, those AI agents. Mm. So that is going to be, I think, a, a necessary um, part of decentralizing it and uh, creating a system, mm -hmm. a database, to be able to uh, basically a ledger mm -hmm. to then have and at least agree on the baseline. Yeah, uh, you mean that in the future, if uh, some person use the AI production, so mm -hmm. in that case, uh, we yeah. have to pay money. Yes, yeah? and yeah. then the AI can get a money yes. income. So yes, okay. uh, basically uh, like a tax. Yeah, tax. so if. For example, if you use this model, if you use this, it's just like Mickey Mouse. Mickey mm. Mouse is an IP registered yeah, IP. to Disney, right? Yeah. And on the balance sheet, it's sometimes it's hard to see IP on the balance sheet, mm. right? And so it's intangible. So what does that look like? So when you digitize it, mm. it slightly becomes more tangible. So on the balance sheet, and you're able to understand, you can even um, data now. We were just talking about this. Uh, Lloyds of London being able to insure data. Mm. So if you're able to insure data, then you can basically take a loan out against mm. that data and the value of that maybe at 40, 60 percent of that. Mm. And so with that, there needs to be some type of IP registered to that data. Mm. And then you can actually be able to tax it. Mm. Because if Lloyds can insure it, then a, of course a government can tax it. Yeah. <laughs> but the uh, the AI itself uh, can pay tax or what? Yes. Who, who will pay Yes, so, the, the, so whatever the IP. So if, yeah. for example, if your personal AI agent created yeah. the IP, mm. it created the new Mickey Mouse, mm. right? Yeah. Then basically you are in integrated into the system and mm. you can automate the whole process of that tax. Mm. So then whatever is created from that likeness, mm. the IP, then you would just whatever that be. So like in the US, um, in Texas, it's like uh, there's roughly 8% tax, mm, right? So yeah. then you could take that and, and do what you want. But then that transaction would be direct. So then basically 92% uh, would go here and then 8% would go mm. to the governing body. Mm, yeah. that would, so that's automated. It doesn't need to be a middleman. Mm. It goes now um, into one system. Yeah, so the, in the future, if uh, the AI works, and the AI can get money and the AI pay a tax and uh, what humans are doing. Right. <laughs> I know. I, yeah, there's a very, there's a much, uh, there's a lot of abundance. There's uh, a lot of abundance. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 예, 이거 정리를 좀 하면요. 아무튼 이런 기술을 우리가 블록체인하고 분산화된 AI를 지금까지는 뭐 중앙 집중식으로 해가지고 the 은행에서 돈을 주면은 돈을 그 얼마 정도 뭐, 뭐 세금을 내거나 뭘 해야 되잖아요. 근데 IP를 등록해서 미키 마우스가 등록하듯이 어, 등록을 해서 세금을 자동으로 자동화 시켜가지고 자동으로 내고 AI가 AI에게 직접 계산권을 줄수 있는 이런 중간자 없이 돈을 중간에서 떼어먹는 사람 없이 <웃음> 굉장히 피가 적어지고 세금이 적어지도록 하는 이런 시스템도 고려하고 있습니다. Okay, thank you for Joshua. Uh, we have to make a conclusion. Yes. So, uh, in AI 
AJ, we have to prepare for the AI assets. Yes, yes. That exactly. is very important. Yes. Uh, and the second one is that we have to enroll the all AIs mm -hmm. in the government or, mm -hmm. or in the U UN under the UN guidelines. Yes. And the third one is uh, AI copyright. Yes. Yeah. So we have to. Uh, admit uh, the AI copyright uh, and then AI can get uh, money and yes. the AI pay <laughs> yes. the tax and then uh, everybody can uh, live happily. Yes. So for these things yeah. we have to make uh, AI ethics yes. and then we cannot produce the better AIs. Yes. We always produce uh, good AIs for human beings. Mm -hmm. Okay. 100%. Yeah. That's a, a very tall order and a lot to do. <laughs> so yeah. we, we look forward to seeing that transpire and yeah. uh, humanity in the next five to ten years. There's yeah. a lot of work, but yeah. I look forward to seeing it all happen. Yeah, yeah. AI 창작하고 <laughs> AI가 이제 창작하면 돈을 벌수 있잖아요. AI가 돈을 벌게 되고 그것들이 전부 AI 윤리를 통과해서 만들어져서 결국은 좋은 AI만 우리가 만들 전략을 지금 짰습니다. 그래서 <웃음> 앞으로 이게 이제 1편이고 2편, 3편 쭉 <웃음> 계속해서 저희가 앞으로 어떻게 AI를 관리할 수 있는지 어, 등록 시스템 뭐 이런 것들을 이야기할 것입니다. 오늘은 여기까지 자 구현철 장관님하고 네. 자슈아 자슈아 존슨이 AI 에틱스, AI 윤리, 네. 도덕 문제를 가장 먼저 10년 전에 논문을 쓴 사람이에요. 네. 석사학위 논문을 쓴 사람입니다. 어, 여기까지 박영숙의 미래TV였습니다. 네. 감사합니다. 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 감사합니다.